Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Leave it to Cure here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, I make videos on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if any of that interests you and you're feeling the vibe of this video, then go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as ring the bell so that you're notified when I post my next video. So today's video, I was just sitting here after recording another video. If you have not checked out this video, by the way, go ahead and watch it as well. But after recording that video, I was just like, okay, it's time for me to record another one because I'm really trying to be as consistent as possible with my channel. In doing that, in order for me to get some more content out, I have to batch record. So that's what I'm doing, recording another video after finishing another one. But um, I just couldn't think of what to talk about, honestly. I couldn't. Like, I like talking about little juicy topics and stuff for make it make sense. But I'm not really feeling like doing to make it make sense right now. I kind of just want to like free talk. I kind of want to like see if I could FaceTime a couple of my friends and see if they want to like chime in on the topic. <laughs> so can we do that? <laughs> okay. So one of my friends I already tried to FaceTime. She's on a date right now. So I'm going to try to have to hit up maybe another one. Um, dang. Okay. I think I'm going to call it Naya. But let me just go ahead and get this one started, get the topic going, I guess, and then we can start making some calls. Okay, so basically I kind of just want to talk about um, dating and what dating really means to me and what I believe that women and men should take it as today and how they should operate within it. Um, I've been learning a lot as far as dating in my adult age and it's just not what we really thought it was going to be, honestly. Like, you know, people thought we were going to be married by 28, 26. When we was younger, we mostly thought that we would be married by 25, have kids by, like, 26. Baby, I'm 27. <laughs> and I'm, well, I'm not 27 yet, but I'm about to be 27 in three months. So it's like, I ain't there yet. But nor am I rushing it. So it's like... I just want to kind of talk about that. Y'all know I don't like to uh, put my personal business out there as far as my dating life. So I'm not going to tell y'all if I'm dating or not right now. I'm not. I'm just going to let y'all in on what I do know in the process because I have actively dated. Dating is different for a lot of people, but I believe that the standard should be when you're dating someone, you should be going out on physical dates with this person, getting to know this person, and I believe that your feelings, I don't want to say put them on the back burner, but kind of hold them and lock them up in like a little safe while you're dating. Um, because you don't want to like dive and put all, put your all into this one person and then things don't work out. I say when you date, it's imperative to date multiple people at once. And I know that's going to step on a few toes. A lot of people don't like that. Look, I've been on Twitter. I done seen the comments about it. Y'all basically think that if a woman is dating more than one man, that she's a HOE and that she is sleeping with all of them. And honey, that's not the case. <laughs> like, that's not always the case, but it is sometimes. But I'm speaking about the women who are strictly just going on dates with guys, getting to know them. And maybe she just got one sexual partner. Like, okay. Maybe one of those guys that she's dating is the sexual partner and the other she's just going on dates with. That could be the situation. I believe that that should be the situation. Uh -huh. Yeah, I believe that should be the situation. I'm just going to say it like that. When it comes to dating and feelings... I know that if you're dating someone and you're kind of like getting to know them and things are going well, the dates went really good, you're probably like going on your third date with this guy or this woman and things are just going so well and you're just like, you know what, we have been, we done been on three or four dates together, it's time for me to just kind of be with this person. So you end up cutting off everybody else and you focus solely on that one person. And then let's say y'all get to the fifth date and then you find something out about this person and you're like, whoa, they never said nothing like this before. 
and I'm not really feeling this. <laughs> so now you like, dang, I done cut off all my roster, everybody that I had lined up, potentials, for this one person, and now they have this deal breaker, and I don't really know if I want to rock with that. I don't really know if I am comfortable with being in that type of situation with the person, you know? So that's why I say it's important to date multiple people and keep those multiple people. Keep your options open. I'm not saying go around and sleep with everybody that you're dating. Definitely not saying that because y'all already know how it is out here. Stuff is real. Y'all need to protect yourselves. But I would definitely say to go around and date multiple people and see what you like and what you don't like. Date, that's what dating is for. Dating is for you to find out what you like and what you don't like and also take the things that you learned from your previous relationships and kind of apply some things that you learned and take away some things that you don't want to move forward and uh, implement into your relationship. So with that being said, y'all, Let's go ahead and try to FaceTime one of my friends and see if we can get them to chime in. Because me and all my friends, we kind of feel the same way about it. But some of them have some different perspectives. And I'm about to try it now, yeah. Hi, girl. I can't see you. So, my friends are pretty much busy right now. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of who else I could call, but... I got another friend on vacation, like, pretty much a bunch of my friends are, like, busy right now. I know for a fact. Dang, I might just have to thug it out. Looks like it's just gonna be a little on me right now until Kier uh, possibly can chime in a little bit. If not, then we're just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> but this is real, real chill, y'all. I'm sitting on my floor, and, yeah, I just wanna kinda, like, get into it with y'all. I'm gonna go to the Urban Dictionary for y'all. And I don't know why that came up. I'm gonna, oh, that's the word of the day, clout demon. So I'm gonna type in dating. And we're gonna see what comes up from that. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Urban Dictionary. According to Urban Dictionary, the definition of dating is. Dating is where two people who are attracted to each other spend time together to see if they also can stand to be around each other most of the time. Mm -hmm. If this is successful, they develop a relationship. Although sometimes a relationship develops anyways if the people can't find anybody else to date them. Hmm. Oh, we're going to get deep on that one. Or are very lonely or one person is only attracted to the other. And pretends to be in love with the second unfortunate person who has the misunderstanding that they have found love. Wow. Wow. This occurs quite often and eventually leads to something called cheating. Dang, they really went in on the definition, y'all. So let's go in and kind of dissect what they're talking about. So let's start with the first sentence. Dating is where two people who are attracted to each other. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Attraction. Attraction. Let's start there because me personally, I can't date someone that I'm not attracted to. I thrive off of the attraction to my mates and that's just what it is. Like, I can't be with somebody who I'm not attracted to. Now, 
beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I know what I like. I like what I like, you know, it just is what it is. If I'm not attracted to you, I'm not even gonna look your way to begin with, and I'm not even gonna wanna put anything into you. Like, I'm not even gonna wanna invest in you or take you out or have you take me out, vice versa. Like, it's just not gonna work. So that's, I definitely agree with that. Attraction, number one. Spend time together to see if they can stand to be around each other most of the time. So yes, I definitely agree with that. That's basically what I said about, you know, dating multiple people. When you're out dating these multiple people, you're really trying to get a feel for them. You're trying to get a feel for the vibe to see if you two can really coexist together for how long together. Um, for personal experience, I can say I've been on dates where they've lasted a couple of hours. They've lasted six or more hours and at the end of it, you know, I'm just kind of going back and forth in my mind like, you know, I really enjoy spending time with that person. Like, you know, I enjoy their energy. I enjoy their time. I wasn't annoyed by them in any way. Uh, you know, I can stand to be around this person. So that's very, very important because me feeling that way, it made me want to spend more time with them. So if you spend a lot of time with a person on a date and that person is just kind of rubbing you the wrong way, they're saying things that you're not really comfortable with and things like that, then nine times out of 10, you're not gonna wanna go on another date with that person. So that's why I say keep the options open. This is what dating is for. You're supposed to be weeding out, you know, who you can stand to be around, you know, who does have the same interest as you because let's be real, you gotta be interested in some of the same things. Um, you can't just have completely total opposite interests, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later as well So next thing that they say is if this is successful So if you can stand to be around this person and if it is successful Then you possibly develop a relationship with this person although sometimes a relationship develops anyways If the people can't find anybody else to date them Okay, so You've been dating this person for a couple months now. Y'all been actively dating, getting to know each other. Y'all are not just... And let me let me tell you, let's just pause for a second. Because there's a difference between dating and sleeping around. <laughs> let's just be real. Like, you could say you dating somebody, but all y'all are doing is Netflixing and chilling and sleeping together. That's not dating, baby. That's not dating. That is a situation ship that you should probably run far, far away from. Unless that's what you want. And you don't really want to see nothing come from that. Then I would say, you know, stay there. But if you really want to see something thrive, that's not dating. And that's something that you should snip, snip. Okay? Period. If you respect yourself enough, you need to have somebody who respects you just as much to date you. To take you out. To invest in you you know and i'm not saying they gotta spend a bunch of money but them taking you out and actually you know putting you in a different environment other than their home that just shows something to me it shows effort so that's the difference between you know that for me but you've dated this person a couple times and now you all are deciding whether or not you want to be in a relationship now i would say when you come to the arrival of that like oh i could really see myself with this person possibly i would say to definitely communicate that with that person see if they're on the same page with you um you know hey i'm feeling like i want to take this to the next level i'm really feeling you are you feeling the same way you know give them that room and that opportunity to let you know if that's how they feel as well and I would hope that the person that you're dating, if you went on this many dates with them, can be honest and upfront with you and can communicate that to you. If not, then you need to cut them off. So there's always signs that'll be sent to let you know if you need to continue on dating this person or if you just need to let them go in the opposite direction. Prior to getting into a relationship, definitely sit down with that person and allow them to express to you how they feel about you. You know, you let them know how you feel about them, so they need to be able to do the same thing, you know, and say, you know, I'm feeling you. I like your vibe, and I could see this going somewhere, you know. If they're speaking in future terms when it comes to you all's relationship, that's a good sign for sure. Um, if they're not just talking about themselves, 
and they're talking about you two as a unit moving forward, then that's a good sign. Um, I would say definitely take it slow before you just hop into a relationship. Dating is prevalent. It's very, very important that you date a person before getting into a relationship with them. Get to know them on a different type of level. Take them out of their comfort zone. I would say go on dates that are gonna take you both out of your comfort zone. Of course, go you know to dinner, uh, sit down and be able to have that face-to-face -face conversation. But I would say maybe go on a little adventurous date. Now, you don't got to go skydiving or, you know, jumping out the plane or nothing like that. But try to do something a little bit outside of the box and see where it takes you to, you know? I like that. I like that type of dating for sure. So, sometimes people hop into a relationship because they can't find anybody else to date them. Hmm. Hmm. That is true. That is true. So be able to decipher whether or not you are wanting to hop into a relationship with this person simply because you are tired of dating. You're tired of the cycle of, hey, what's your favorite color? <laughs> like, try to decipher if you really are liking this person and you really can see yourself with this person long term because dating is not a joke, you guys. Um, a lot of people do play with dating and stuff, but it's really not. You taking somebody's feelings through the ringer and you want to be sure that you're you're not messing with someone you're not messing with someone's feelings you're not wasting anyone's time and yours so i would say definitely communicate definitely be self-aware definitely have self-love before you even start dating go back to that video where i talked about do you really love yourself because before you can pour into and give to someone else you need to be okay with yourself you need to love yourself first and you need to know yourself you need to know your triggers you need to know what makes you happy what makes you sad because how can you communicate that to another person so yeah you're going on these dates with this person and everything like that but make sure that you're coming back home and you're centering yourself and you're reevaluating yourself you know because I noticed that when I was going on dates, of course I learned a lot from my past relationship, but I learned a lot in dating as well. I did, because you're dealing with a different type of person than what you're used to. And so it really like opens up the door to just, just numerous things about yourself that you probably didn't know. So make sure that you're addressing those things before you're going into this relationship. I'm not saying don't go into a relationship with somebody that you're dating, but definitely keep it open and definitely communicate your way through that with that person and also with yourself and make sure that you're centering yourself so the next part it says or are very lonely or one person is only attracted to the other and pretends to be in love with the second unfortunate person who has the misunderstanding that they have found love that's called manipulation point blank period people know what they're doing and you need to be aware of that as well be aware when a person is taking advantage of you and when they're just trying to bait you and use you for your time your energy um don't let people suck you dry like if you're gonna date date with the purpose date intentionally and don't allow anybody to play with you seriously because they will if you're being so vulnerable and you're thinking you're going into this so genuinely and they're not and they're just trying to get personal gain out of you all's relationship please notice that try to notice the signs if y'all want me to go a little bit more deeper into that definitely comment below so that we can talk about that in a later episode but don't let nobody play with y'all period like just don't Cut people off when they don't see your value and when they don't bring anything to the table, period. And you'll be able to tell if you really pay attention and you're not so caught up in those feelings. That's why I said kind of take those feelings and kind of put them in a box and put a little lock on it before you bring them out. I'm not saying be heartless and treat the person indifferent, but definitely just kind of put a haul on those feelings because you don't want to get hurt. You let all these feelings out, and then they come and tell you, look, I don't really feel the same way. Now you got to kind of, you can't just reel those back in. You have to heal from that, you know, and that healing takes a while. So in order to save yourself from that heartache and that time to heal, then just go ahead and kind of put those feelings to the side. I'm not saying be heartless, like I said. Show affection, show love, you know, to that person, but be conscious. That's the thing, be conscious. Yeah, that whole cheating thing, 
was the last part, at least the cheating. I don't even want to get into cheating because <laughs> that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother episode. So we'll talk about that at a later date. Basically, what I wanted y'all to get out of this episode for dating is how you should be dating. And what I've said, these are the takeaways. Have options when you're dating. Make sure that you and that other person know exactly what's going on between you two. Make sure that they know, you know, I am dating other people actively. And if you are doing that as well, then I would like to know that as well. If you two are going to sleep together, make the conscious decision to know that it's a possibility that they could be sleeping with someone else. But if you are open enough and honest with them, just hope that they would be open enough and honest with you as well. But if not, keep your eyes open because people usually tell on themselves, you know? So I would say just be conscious, have fun with it. Don't get your feelings all caught up in it because I know, trust me, I'm an empath. I know how easy it is to get your feelings caught up in a person. But in dating, that's just, it's not the time to be so overly emotional. Now, once you get into a relationship with the person, that's when you can kind of let loose on the emotions and let it out. But, and we'll talk about that later because I don't want y'all to think that I'm saying like hide some things. Never, never hide anything from a person. But I'm just saying like don't go in with so many expectations and things like that when you're dating someone. Because dating literally is like just trying on shoes and seeing if they fit. That's all it is. So stop taking dating so seriously guys. Have fun with it. And yeah, come back and tell me some of y'all stories. I actually want to know like some dating stories. Maybe I can get on here and talk about some past dating stories and things that I've learned along the way because I just know that our generation is kind of redefining what dating is and I like the way that we're redefining it. And I hope that we're all on the same page with it, which is why I felt the need to make this video. So yeah, that's my spill on it. I'll do the FaceTime video another time. So give me another topic we can talk about. Maybe we can elaborate on dating. I don't know, but definitely want to do a FaceTime segment where I FaceTime some friends and then they kind of chime in. Um, then we'll also be having like a little girls chat video coming up soon where the girls will be over and we'll kind of just be sipping wine and we'll be talking about some various different topics. So make sure that you go ahead and follow me on Instagram, subscribe here, but follow me on Instagram for sure because I always like to get on my stories and like ask you all's input about my channel and the things that I want to talk about on there. Yeah, go ahead and check me out and I'm so excited to be back. We back in this thing. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.